Yo guys, Ollie's Hat here, and today it is Valentine's Day. Um, I would say, judging by the fact that, you know, I'm... I'm... There's no joke, I'm just lonely. <laughs> but, um, what better way to spend Valentine's Day than um, the lowest form of content, BuzzFeed quizzes. At least I can say I haven't done a Reddit video yet. I could easily do a Reddit video, I'd do a Joy Browsing Reddit, but... I don't know, I just feel like that is the lowest form of content. We are going to be doing, I've, I've got nine BuzzFeed quizzes here that we're going to be doing, just because that's still a thing apparently. Oh, and it might not be, and I just might be like, yeah, it's behind the curve. But, um, we've got a few Valentine's Day themed BuzzFeed quizzes and a couple of others as well. So we're just going to get done with them. With Valentine's Day coming up, we're deciding what food looks sexy to eat and which ones are a bit of a turn off. Okie dokie. Strawberries, I mean, they're associated with Valentine's Day, aren't they? I thought sexy. I agree with 91% of people. There's still 35k people using this site. Ice cream. That picture? No, definitely not. But ice cream in general? Yeah. Spaghetti? Um, can be used in sexy scenarios, I guess. Like a romantic dinner date. But spaghetti itself? Definitely not sexy to eat. Oysters? They look minging, I'm sorry. Burger, not exactly the... Burgers can be sexy, but probably not the sexiest of food. Lobster, yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with the air. Pizza, again, can be eaten in sexy scenarios, but not itself not sexy. Ah, cheesecake, well, I mean, bananas, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, you know. Soup is probably the least sexy food of them all. Like, it's soup at the end of, end of the day, isn't it? Cheese? If something's cheesy, you don't associate that with being sexy, do you? Eggs. I, I just don't like eggs, to be honest. Chocolate. Yeah, I might as well. Baked beans. Ba baked, I had baked beans on my tea. I had a spam for it with baked beans and chips. 94% of people are wrong. Well. And uh, we've got steak. Not gonna lie, I don't care. This quiz, this quiz is awful. But if anyone guess can guess all of these Disney movies from the first line, they'll be a certified Disney genius. Can I be a certified Disney genius? Let's go. I want to say Zootopia. I feel like that starts with a bank robbery because the main character's a policeman. Oh yeah, it's Toy Story, isn't it? I don't really care, so I'm going to go a little bit of it. Get in. That's Coco, surely, isn't it? Nope. I have no clue what this is. I'm going to go 100 more Dalmatians? Nope. Surely that's Soul, right? Because that's about like skeletons and that, isn't it? Day of the Dead. No? It wants me to say the Emperor's New Groove because that's like the Emperor's New Clothes in it, but I feel like Aladdin chilies. Aladdin, yeah, Aladdin starts off with Aladdin being poor, doesn't it? And I see the genie makes him rich. Man, I got bitten. Beauty and the Beast, damn it. Coco. Get it! I've got two right now. Good dinosaur. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, it's not Wreck-It Ralph. Wally? Damn it. Aladdin, surely. No? Okay. Damn it. I was, I'd say I'm a certified Disney genius now. Wait, what kind of houseplant are you based on your drink of choice? This, that's got to be the worst quiz to ever. What kind of houseplant are you based on your drink of choice? What's your drink of choice in the morning? I'm going to be honest, it's whatever fizzy drinks in the fridge. Usually Coke, but you know, I'll opt for 7-Up as it is in the minute or whatever. I'll go with juice, so I don't like hot drinks, to be honest. I, I can tolerate a hot chocolate, but I'd never choose to have one. I, I, so, I mean, the only option for me here is juice. What kind of smoothie do you prefer? 
Well, if I show you, <laughs> I just show you. This isn't promo, by the way, but um, these innocent smoothies. The one I do like is strawberry and banana. So I mean, the option is quickly there. It's funny as well because not even joking, they're like four pound fifty or something in he in uh, Tesco and all the big supermarkets. But in like farm foods, you can get them for a pound. So every time I got farm foods, just get like four of them, and they're still cheaper than one in Tesco. Um, no, no, I'm not. That's not promotion for any of them. I'm just saying, you know, if you're gonna get smooth, you go to one of those places. Midday pick me up. Um, energy drink. I mean, I do have an Ainbro Energy here. Right, I I I get meal deal every day, uh, every weekday at least. And realistically, if you're picking water with your meal deal, you're just a bit of a they're either a massive fitness freak or just a bit strange. So yeah, I mean, it's gonna be soda, isn't it? Or do I order at happy hour? I don't drink alcohol. I'll go with beer, I guess, because it's funny. Kind of milkshake. When I go to McDonald's, I get a vanilla milkshake. It's just the nicest in it. I'm a spider plant. I'm wild and carefree, just like the spider plant. You likely thrive most when the sun is shining. Okay. <laughs> and... Tell me what kind of music career you'd have, and I'll reveal if you'd be a Grammy winner or a one-hit wonder. Right. What's my stage name? I, I think if I were to do something, I'd probably just call it like, Tatty or something. I'll go with my birth name, I guess. Who you share a genre with? Um, I mean, I, I like rap the most, but in my opinion, I, I don't want to be associated with Drake, to be honest. The most wholly mid-overrated artist to ever exist is Drake. But I mean, he's the rapper there. He, he's not even a rapper. I, th I don't think. He's, he's a pop artist, but I'll go with Drake, because I'm assuming the mean he's a rapper. How many albums do you have? None. Um, I, I don't have any. I'll, I'll, I'll go three. What was your biggest hit called? Um, let's go, oh, because it's funny. This is my most iconic collab. The Weekend. No clue who that is or that is. I'm not collabing with Justin Timberland. I know I've called him that. It's funny because it's the boot. I'll go The Weekend. Because I don't mind The Weekend. I mean, Bad Buddy would probably get me bigger numbers, but, you know. I've got... I'll, <laughs> I tried at number two, you know. My best performance... An underrated tour performance. Who wrote my songs? Me. I write them. I do actually sometimes write songs in my spare time. Like I've got a playlist on YouTube which is full of instrumentals. And I just write songs sometimes. Who is your non-musician fling? I'd, I'd rather... N I'm not going to put Neymar because I'm not his sister. I mean, I'm, I mean Dixie D'Amelio, some would argue, is a musician. I, again, Angelina Jolie definitely... She is a musician, isn't she? No, I'm thinking Dolly Parton. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going Dixie D'Amelio regardless. I was a star, but not the biggest one. I'll take that. Yeah. How many quizzes have we got left? Five. Brilliant. Warning. This Would You Eat It quiz is not for picky eaters. Oh, that's a shame. Would you eat this bowl of peanut butter mixed with M&M's? I don't like peanut butter and I don't like M&M's, so no. I don't like the peanut M&M's. I, I don't mind, like, chocolate M&M's. Taco shell... Yeah, I, I love I love Mexican food, me. But it's cheesy nachos and tacos. That yeah, man. Ranch. Oh. I mean, again, it depends what the take like tastes like. I probably wouldn't. Chocolate milk mashed potatoes. I would definitely have a try because I love mashed potatoes and I love chocolate milk. So I'd have to have a try. Ham and potato birthday cake. 
I mean, it's just half a Sunday roast, isn't it? Well, half a half a dinner just made into a cake. I mean, I, 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 again, th- this is just I'd try it, not that I'd eat it. You know, like I have all of it. I have no clue what Golden Graham is, so I'm gonna. S- it just looks like it's like shreddies, no. Honestly, cereal with ice cream could be a play, you know. At least, like, slightly liquidy ice cream. So I'm going to say, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm assuming. Ketchup toast. I'm going to have to pass. Bacon-flavoured spam. Cheese and mayonnaise salad. It looks grim, but it's probably not. I'd have it as, like, sandwich filling, you know. Because like, you, you get the chicken and bacon sandwich filling. This just looks absolutely horrid, like puke, but it tastes nice in the sandwich. If I'm just having it out the bowl, though, I'd probably say nah. I did, I did, have, I, I did have spam for my tea, to be fair. Spam for... Fried, fiery, loaded nacho, Pringle-covered spam. I don't see why not. That could that might not be too bad. Peanut butter and pickle. I hate both of them things. Oysters, nah. I mean, to be fair, that's just a sausage sandwich, isn't it? And end of the day, that's just not the biggest fan of mustard. But I mean, that's take the mustard out. That's just a sausage sandwich, isn't it? That's that's just a pepperoni pizza with a slight bit. Bit too much pepperoni. How are people saying no to that? What the hell's an uncrustable? I hate Americans, man. The soup tube. That could work. It could work. I'm not saying it's nice, I'm just saying it could work. It would just be quite messy. Honestly, yeah, give me the soup tube. Right, th- thanks for that, BuzzFeed. I-, I learned a lot from that. Order a pizza, and we'll tell you if your crush is also crushing on you. I'm going to stuff crust, me. Sauce do you want? Oh, pesto. Give me pesto. I love pesto, me. Chicken pesto pasta. Lovely. Cheese. Love me a bit of feta, man. Topping. Pepperoni in it. Pepperoni and mushroom. Oh, sausage or bacon? I'm gonna go bacon. Um, I got a smoothie. Come on! That means nothing, does it? We've got three more quizzes left. That that means absolutely nothing. Everyone's a mix of a Wednesday and a Harry Potter character. Which are you? I don't know. Let's just find out. You introverted. Depends on my mood, to be honest, I. Favourite colour? It's orange. <laughs> my favourite colour is orange, and it's not on here. How have you put green and dark green? You put blue twice. If I pick a second one, I'll probably go red. What? What? I don't, I don't care. I g- genuinely don't care. I'll go Gryffindor, just because... I've not heard of any of these songs. I'll go Rihanna, I guess. Oh, Dobby, I guess. He's he's Dumbledore's there, I guess. To be honest, I've watched half an episode of. Uh, I I try to watch it Wednesday. I got half an episode in. I it just got. Cringy to the point where I just stopped watching it. It was like, ha, look, ed- edgy girl, edgy, she, she, she doesn't, she doesn't want to be there. I, I got to the point where she escaped the therapists. It was like, look, look at her, she's edgy, she's not normal. It was cringy to the point where I just stopped watching it. 
I'll go I'll go to the therapist, I guess. I got, I got the main character. Guys, I'm, I'm the main character. Two quizzes left, I believe. Yep. I'll reveal what your favourite snack says about you. Okay then, DP Hack 1. Favourite sweet snack. I'd probably go cookie. Favourite country snack? Co not country snack. Crunch crunchy snack. Crisps. Not chips. Crisps. Every day of the week. I don't mind cheese and crackers and like cucumber and that on it, but if you're just having a cracker, like, what's the point? Popcorn and nuts, I don't like. Here at candy. Well, Snickers is a chocolate bar for a start, not sweets. Um, I'll go gummy. I, I, I like strawberry laces, probably up there is one of my favourites, so gummy worms are the most similar to them. Here at health snack. Strawberries, they've done that to look like balls, haven't they? If, they, if we're being honest. I'd probably say strawberries, bananas, apples, oranges. Oranges are just too much of a faff and it's just not even that nice. Like, orange flavoured stuff, brilliant, but oranges themselves, it's too much of a faff on. Same with apples. If, if they come pre-cut, yeah, I'll, I'll have some apples, but I'm not just having a whole ass apple. Because A... You end up leaving like half of it, and B, what if you're not like near a bin or anything? What do you do with the cards launched at the nearest person's head? Definitely strawberries. Late night snack. I mean, pizza's better in the morning, to be honest. Pizza's better. I've still got a morning rate of cold pizza. If I was to get one late at night, though, yeah, I'll probably go pizza if, if, if it's there. Favorite fried snack? Chips in it. I am nervous and uncertain at times. Picking these food choices shows that others that you set shows others that you second guess some of your choices at times, which can lead to some trouble. Right. Anyway, f final quiz. This school day simulation reveals which famous teacher you're most like. How are you getting to school today? I get the bus. What's your first class? I don't take any of these subjects. I'm doing mechanics and maths at the minute, which is, I guess, similar to physics. So, what's my second class? I, I Computer science was my third lesson today, so I'll go, I'll go over that. Pick a school lunch, I get a meal deal every day. So I guess I'm going sandwich. What's your third class? Again, I don't take any of these. We are doing statistics in math soon, so I'll go with that, I guess. Gym class, pick a sport. Football. That is football, BuzzFeed, and you know it. Well, they haven't even put hand egg here. They haven't even put hand egg. So there's no reason not to call it football. Idiot. What's my last class? Again, I don't take any of these. I'll go with business because I take I, I take IT and that sort of links in with business. Because I remember the, last year we had like an IT and business crossover thing where we had to design a product and like I would market it and that. It had absolutely nothing to do with IT and I was just talking with a bunch of lads I didn't know for like two days. But I think the best, best thing about it though was um, there was one lad who <laughs> the other guy was just taking the mick out of the old time so he moved to a different moved to a different group. But the thing is the group he moved to we sat right next to us. So, you know, where am I heading after school? Well, home. I, uh, I'm, I'm a wild one, me. You know, I get the. I go straight home after 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 school, you know. Yep, that's. I'm wild, me. So, um, if you guys learnt anything from this video and do what me to do sort of more videos like this, comment down below what you want me to do. I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess. Peace.